Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. As you guys saw from the very beginning of uh, the episode, um, there were some files left over from uh, the Day of the Dead, some lost footage that I found and I just wanted to share with you guys and show you guys. Now, I know it's a little bit past the Day of the Dead. We're already, you know, past that. We're, you know, close to the end of November and the Day of the Dead events were at the beginning of November. But I just figured, you know, if I don't share this, these with you now, I'm probably not going to get a chance to show this to you later on and all that good stuff. And it'll probably lose a little bit of its uh, luster. So, um, you know, quick short story on how and what happened. You know, what happened was that like um, that day when we were filming, um, the film rolled over to a new um, to a new file system type thing. So what happened was that you know, um, I, as I was filming that day, um, one of the the last file that you saw on the Day of the Dead video that was file nine 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 nine. And then um, it started um, again at 0000000001, 0003, 2, 3, 4, like that. And, uh, and then all those files were put in a completely different folder. And it wasn't until I filmed another episode or another event, I don't know what it was, that I was looking um, through my memory card that I realized, oh shit, wait a minute, look at all these uh, files that were left over from the Day of the Dead. And um, I had already, you know, not only filmed, uh, but uploaded the episode by then. So I was just like, man, what am I going to do? So I just put it in a folder and, uh, you know, just left it there. Now, fast forward to today where, you know, I'm kind of like uh, trying to, uh, you know, manage my time a little better this week because I've been crazy busy. And it's already Tuesday afternoon and I really haven't even, uh, you know, done any episodes for the upcoming week. And so, um, you know, at the moment, I can't really think of anything. I don't know what it was, what, what I was gonna, you know, talk about or anything like that. So I said to myself, "Man, why don't you just do a lost episodes video real quick and uh, just upload that? And in the meantime, hopefully, you'll think of an episode to, you know, to uh, to film. And if not, at least you got this, and you know, you know, move it forward and all that good stuff." So. That's what I'm going to do. Why I'm telling you all this is because there's a lot of you guys that watch me for all kinds of different reasons. You know, some of you guys are just watching the Mexico content and already probably and probably already skipped this. But a lot of you guys watch me for, you know, again, just to see my method, see my routine, see how I do things, you know, and so on. And so that's why I'm here, you know, telling you guys all about this, because, you know, again, this is very important for some of you guys. Because some of you guys wonder, you know, how I come up with this stuff. Wonder how I manage my time. Wonder how I get all this stuff done. What's my my thinking process and all this other good stuff. Now, it's not to say that I don't have already a list of episodes of things that I do want to talk about. I kind of do. And as I'm recording this little bit of an intro, I'm thinking to myself, man, maybe what I should do is, as soon as I'm done here, is you know, record a few episodes and then I'll just get to edit. That's usually what I end up doing anyway and it always works out better. You know, when I have my mind uh, ready and kicking to start, you know, um, talking about um, ideas on my in my head, um, then that's usually the, you know, the best time to start recording. So, you know, that's kind of like what I'm kind of thinking about doing at the moment. But anyways, I think this little bit of an intro has been long enough. I know um, I started, I, I just said to myself, man, I'm just gonna talk and put this in the middle of the video and then go on with it. And um, you know, I had like eight, 10 minutes to fill, give or take, but I'm not gonna do that to you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna end it here. I'm gonna have you guys watch the rest of the episode. And at the end of the episode, I'll do a little bit more of a talking and uh, we can go from there, all right? So without further ado, the lost episode. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
¿Alguien quiere jugar dominó? ¿Dominó? ¿Rápido?
today's episode so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna do a few channel updates you know um, so again if you just came here for the Mexico content you probably already switching off right now but if you're here because you watch all my stuff and you enjoy everything and you want to know more about the things that are coming up and all that good stuff then uh, just stick around for a few more minutes and I'll give you guys a quick little update so number one what I'm going to be doing going forward, um, you know, on the next few weeks, but definitely a lot of these things, if you don't see them rolling out, um, a lot of the things that I'm not, a lot of the things that I'm saying here and, and I've said before in the last uh, few videos and, and live streams and all that stuff, if you're not seeing the rollout yet, you will definitely see the rollout by January 1st going forward. So a lot of these things are going to start getting rolled out, you know, the, towards the end of November where we are now in December, you know, just to get, you know, um, my feet wet and you know just um you know kind of like a beta beta test this stuff a little bit um there are some of the changes coming to the uh, to the channel but you know by the time january 1st you know the first week of january rolls around we're going to be in full swing and all that good stuff so the may, may first of all before i get too ahead of myself i'm not gonna stop making videos okay that's number one i'm gonna be making videos every single fucking day 365 days a year no matter what we're still gonna keep that and we're still gonna keep the the schedule for this foreseeable future you know meaning uh you know monday motivation wednesday live stream and so on and so forth all right and um in fact i'm gonna see if i can uh you know fill those 
um, other dates, you know, maybe Saturday will be many the videos no matter what and so on and so forth. So, you know what I mean? Just like having, uh, you know, in s several days out of the week, which you guys can tune in no matter what and know that on Saturday you'll have a Medi the video. On Monday's Monday motivation. On Wednesday is the live stream and so on and so forth. You know, Sunday is the Instagram videos. So something like that, you know, um, but that'll be something that's going to be work in progress and not really start getting implemented till next year now some of the things that i will be doing is that i am and you probably have already noticed it with a couple videos here and there but what i am going to be doing is that i am going to start now changing my thumbnails a little bit and night now in 99 percent of the thumbnails that i upload you see me and my face on it why so it helps subscribers like you to pick me out from you know the masses on your subscriber tab and you know for you so or on your you know whatever recommendations page or what have you and be able to you know quickly you know see me and click on it and watch the video but some of the things that i'm learning um from grow you know about building and growing my channel i'm realizing that um you know i, I got my subscriber base and you guys are going to be here no matter what so um it, it, you know by what i'm going to be doing is like i got to now do other things in order to grab the attention of others that are not my subscribers yet and make them subscribers and uh, you know make them part of the community so what do i mean what am i going to do so you guys already know what i'm doing with the thumbnails so if what happens what's going to happen now is that i'm going to start doing other types of thumbnails so for example like if you saw on the day of the dead episode where i used the thumbnail of uh those um you know people dressed up in the day of the dead costumes and, and again on this video most likely i will be using some sort of uh you know um some sort of thumbnail that's very similar to that too, you know, where I'm gonna be using, you know, a picture. Um, I did that with the last Cuba video where I just showed a picture of the classic cars and the building and so on and so forth. And believe it or not, um, those thumbnails that do not include my sexy face actually seem to be doing better. Um, the ones that only have Christian on them do pretty good as well. But um, I think that I'm gonna be start, I'm gonna start mixing it up a little bit more. So for those of you guys that have not hit the bell icon yet okay if you guys are wondering what that is that bell icon is just to notify you every single moment every single time that i upload anything so i would suggest that you guys hit that bell icon now so that way even if you know when i upload you might miss it because you don't see my face on the upload at least through the notification you will at least know that i did upload and you don't have to go scouring through my channel and again, as you guys know, and I've been telling you guys um, that no matter what, I'm going to still upload every day unless I let you guys know in the future. But I don't see that changing for the foreseeable future right now. I see, again, the daily uploads. But I'm going to be doing a lot of things like that. I'm also going to start um, making little clip videos. I'm also going to start doing little clips as well. So you're going to start seeing uploads on my channel um, that are um, going to come at weird times. You know, they're going to, you already know that my uploads are up my videos are uploaded every single day 5 a.m eastern central time i mean eastern time okay eastern time zone 5 a.m every single day my video uploads but throughout the day you know it might be two in the afternoon it might be 5 p.m it might be whatever and on random you know random days throughout the week i'm gonna start uploading little clips um whether the and again these clips are gonna vary so much on so many different aspects but Again, I'm just doing a lot of these um, new techniques in order to just really see if I can get my channel to grow and explode. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you're going to be expecting a lot more action from there. I used to be a lot more active on those mediums, and now I'm going to, again, go even harder. I'm going to see if I can get on TikTok and all these other things. I already am on TikTok, but I'm really going to start using a lot of these mediums, you know, um, even, you know, even more than I have and um, I'm really gonna start um, really taking this thing to the next level. Now, I'm always taking it to the next level, but I'm really gonna, you know, again, take another leap, another major leap. And so, you know, you're gonna be seeing a lot of, um, you know, the purpose of the little clips is because a lot of times I'll, I'll, I'll upload a video that's a 40 minute video. And sure, a lot of you guys watch the whole thing, but throughout that 40 minutes, I see a lot of like really awesome sound bites. So wouldn't it be cool if I were to able to get those sound bites, make them into short little clips, you know, a la Joe Rogan, a la Andrew Schultz, a la, you know, there's a lot of other people that do similar things like that. And then release, you know, with every video, release um, these short little clips or just have these little clips, you know, randomly upload um, all the time on YouTube and all these uh, Instagram, TikTok and Twitter. So that, again, you're constantly seeing a little bit of a snippet 
of a little piece of gold, you know, from me, from my channel and all that good stuff. And then, um, you know, you, most, you know, people will watch that, you know, that are not subscribers that have never seen or heard of me before. And all of a sudden they're like, damn, I like this. Damn, I enjoy this. Damn, this is cool. And they'll watch another, they'll watch another, or better yet, they'll go straight to the channel and subscribe or, you know, again, watch the full video and subscribe and all that good stuff. So yeah, this takes a lot of work. It's a lot of freaking work. But, um, you know, again, this is why I'm kind of telling you guys this. I'm telling you guys this at the end of this video because, you know, for my real hardcore fans that watch everything, um, you guys are still watching this. You know, a lot of this stuff, you know, you will want to hear. So that way, when you see all these things happening, it won't catch you by surprise. You won't be thinking, damn, where, where are his videos? How come I don't see this? How come I don't see that? You know, at the end of the day, um, they're all there. Now, for all the new subscribers, all the new viewers and all that good stuff, you know, none of this stuff is really even going to, they're not going to notice any of this. They're just going to all of a sudden be bombarded with all this stuff, you know, coming from Jose land. And, um, you know, before before you know it, you know, we, we're going to see a, a ginormous growth. Now, again, you know, there's a lot of people that talk about the algorithm, you know, the YouTube algorithms, and they talk about all these things in a negative way. But the reality is, is that, you know, if you know how to play um, the game, meaning you know exactly how the algorithm works or you know how to really um, use these things to your advantage, then you're fine because, you know, there's a lot of subjects that there's that they don't want to be talked about. And guess what? I don't talk about those subjects anyway, so it's not a really a big thing. And then the other subjects that are kind of touchy-feely subjects, again, it just depends on what side of the aisle you're on. You know, remember, uh, YouTube caters to both the left, the right, the up, the down, the diagonal, the everybody. So, uh, you know, I, I fit into a, into a category. They put me into a box and they feed me to those individuals. So now it's up to me that, you know what I mean, for me to create and, you know, keep, keep creating content, keep creating stuff and keep pushing forward so that, you know, I'm pushed out to even more people and, and an even bigger audience and all that stuff. And then hopefully, you know, be able to cross migrate and uh, and then have YouTube, you know, spit me out to everybody. But that's going to take a lot of time, a lot of work, a lot of effort. And um, I'm willing to put that in. And another thing, you know, be, before we even get too ahead of with the whole YouTube stuff, I got to cut this already short. But before we get too ahead with the whole YouTube thing, you know, as you guys already know, there's another YouTube apocalypse coming up in this, on December 10th, you know, right around the corner. And a lot of people are worried out there. I'm not one that's really that worried, you know, for a multitude of reasons. One is because I understand what's happening. I understand the legalese. I understand the implications of a lot of this stuff. That's number one. So I'm not worried there. But number two, even if something insane were to happen, like a massive YouTube purge, I'm not that worried either because you guys know I'm an alternative media kind of guy, meaning I'm an alternative uh, platform kind of guy. So, you know, I'm already, you know, taking the steps and I'm already moving towards, you know, putting all my content on decentralized platforms, on the platforms that will replace YouTube, assuming that YouTube, you know, decides to shoot itself in the foot with a shotgun. All right. So it, to me, I'm already prepared. I'm not really, you know, that worried. And um, again, you know, as all this starts to materialize, we're going to we're going to see if this. And, you know, at the end of the day, I really do think that this could be a positive for YouTube. Uh, I don't want to get too detailed on that at the moment. You know, maybe I'll make a video separate on that subject. But honestly, I think this could this is actually like a little bit of a blessing in disguise. A lot of people are really not realizing or seeing it. I mean, I can understand, you know, people that fall into a certain category i get that this is really going to affect their bottom line as a youtuber but for the most part you know this is this is not really affecting uh, anyone um you know for the most part that make the kind of content that i make all right whether it's uh, travel videos or you know whether it's uh you know content that that has to do with political themes or has to do with you know other subjects that are not you know kid friendly and that's basically it so you know, at the end of the day, we got to remember the whole YouTube thing. I, you know what? Let me not go down that rabbit hole. I'll make an episode on that. But anyways, guys, um, I'm going to wrap this up here. Okay. I think it's already been a long enough episode. Definitely a long enough rant. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the last episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, everything, listening to my ass. Um, and um, that's it. If, if you didn't, you can just leave a thumbs down or what have you. Again, if you didn't, why the hell are you still watching? All right. But anyways, guys. For all those of you that are still watching, I love you guys. You guys are the best. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Please stay awesome. And more importantly than anything else, I love you guys. See you guys manana. Bye. Hey guys, me and Lambo are still here. Show's not over. Just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder to please check out the online store. 
where you can find all kinds of awesome merch. Also, check out joseatiaga.com where, you know, it's the website for me and all this other stuff. So also, you know, check out Discord. It's an online community in which everyone, all my fans, hang out. Again, just, you know, look at the, click at the link in the bottom description of every video here um, where you can just join the community and join and continue the conversation where we talk about, you know, all this and beyond. So please, don't forget to check us out there. Check me out on Instagram, check me out on Twitter, check me out everywhere. In fact, always look at the description of every video. You can find all kinds of stuff at the bottom of the description of every video. Again, I'm always giving you all kinds of goodness. So, you know, whether you're checking the description of the video or whether you're watching the next video, which you're gonna see some here now, you're gonna have all kinds of fun. So again, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys when you.